Yeah. And looking at you, is that where you want me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, tell me when you're ready. We're ready. Cool. I'm James Lockwood, this is Lockwood Farms, and we've been involved with Cowop pretty much since its inception. Uh, my, my dad was on the original board and my, my wife is also on the board. I haven't been there yet, but uh, yeah, it's a family farm in Cobble Hill. So we grow a wide variety of, of things to keep ourselves interested in what we do as well. Uh, we do well over 150 varieties of different l vegetables and we do some meats as well, some chicken and pork. And I'd say the, the biggest thing we do now is our, our eggs. Look, eggs. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted, yeah. <laughs> and and that, that's grown over time. It started out as a supplement to the vegetables and has quickly become our biggest seller. So we, we um, raise hens in a, in a very uh, comfortable environment. You know, they're free range. They've got uh, excellent feed, uh, which is no GMOs, no soy, no corn. Uh, we're the only farm in Canada experimenting with insect protein being part of our regular ration for the birds, as well as we're the only farm in BC that's 100% solar powered as far as our egg production is concerned and our grading facility and that sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so you can see we've got our, this is our heated bench up here where we start our seeds. So. Uh, at this time of year, it's quite heavy on the sprouts and, and quick cut um, greens. But um, over the coming weeks, we'll see less of this and we'll see more um, <laughs> trays that look like this with a number of different lines of vegetables seeded. We might enter a, a season of doing cuttings as well. And then uh, there's no good example here, but um, in about one week's time, there will be little, the, the cotyledons will be protruding from the soil and we'll then carefully prick them out and then transfer them into these cells. And that's, uh, as you can see, uh, it works quite well for us. They stay in there for a few weeks before being transplanted into the greenhouse or the fields over the course of the season. And then we've got a whole wide variety alphabetized down here from, I don't know, you've got, you know, bay, cardamom. I, I, I can't pick one thing. I think that's the whole reason we do the variety. I get bored too easily. I like a bit of everything. It's hard because I want my kids to be interested. I don't want to put them off it. Uh, I remember about four years ago, my son coming up to me and he said, hey, dad, I want to go harvest some blueberries. Okay, son, go for it. Yeah, I know those those bushes all look totally laden. I started them before you were born, you know, like they should, that was gonna be their first year of fruiting. And they were totally covered the night before. And he came back with a long face and the little punnet hanging in his hand. He's like, there aren't any. I'm like, what do you mean there aren't any? There's like hundreds of pounds down there. Something had come in the night and eaten everything. I don't know if it was deer or a bear or whatever, but damaged fences and yeah. just wiped it out. And, uh, broke his little heart that day. Yeah. Um, if you want a shot inside the greenhouse, not a bad idea. Yeah, that side's a bit bare, but this side's totally full. We've got, got our salad mixes in here and our spinach, radishes, arugula. Yeah. You can't plant it all at once, otherwise uh, it's a lot to sell at once. <laughs> then all of a sudden, if you have something all of a sudden but it's brief it's hard to gain that immediate interest and move it quickly I know we had a, a a late winter crop of lettuces lots of them and you know we we posted them on uh, on all the sales avenues and unfortunately had to throw some out at the end which in the middle of winter nobody else has soil grown lettuces around and yeah that's it's hard <laughs> 
you know, but uh, it's a lot of business logistics, like you said, yeah. you know, call your banker. You don't realize that when you start farming, your banker is your, he's on speed dial yeah. for sure. I mean, when, when a crisis hits, you know, it's flooding or whatever. I mean, you're, you're calling your feed supplier, you're calling your banker, you're making sure everything's still running, you know. <laughs> it needs, yeah. It was too much rain, so I couldn't actually get the tractor on there to turn that one. <laughs> but then you dig into it and you, you know, we, we sell some of our manure too. And once you've turned it and worked it a bit, it's quite beautiful. Anyway, at least the garlic's up. You can have a look at the garlic. Farming it or just on the property? Because farming it, I'd say like 11 years. And uh, my parents acquired it a couple of years before and then, yeah. So where we're standing now, this was forest, all this was forest. So we had to take out a couple acres of trees. At the time we were planning to plant, you know, fruit and veg. Uh, we weren't necessarily planning to do the barn at the time, but worked out. <laughs> Maybe you guys decide to go with the solar paneling. I don't want to buy power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I honestly, there's no, there's no reason why not to. Um, you know, the, the, oh, look at that eagle there. Um, yeah, like the, 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 the you know, to, to pay off the mortgage on them is ballpark 10 to 12 years. Yeah. Uh, so in 10 to 12 years, once that's paid off, if I don't have to pay for power again or the mortgage on them, why wouldn't you do it? So it's, uh, you know, again, we, we've talked about sustainability in the environment and that's something that's uh, important to us. And even, even with doing a renewable energy source, you know, I question everything. I go, okay, well, how much energy did it take to produce the panels and all this stuff? And, you know, we look into these things with every move that we make, but uh, that one made sense. So that powers the barn, the grading station. This also powers that barn back there and our well and our septic system. I mean, we, we designed our barn uh, in 2015 and built it in 2016 and we always had the intent to incorporate renewable energies in the future and we finally I guess it's not too long five years later been able to mm -hmm. install the solar panels which is great and we're now net zero with regards to power consumption so that provides 100% of our needs for the barn our grading station our septic our well and our other barn as well mm -hmm. so it's pretty capable. Yeah, it's, it's really substantial. It's nice knowing that uh, the power that we're using is generated by the sun. It's, it's pretty cool. And you know, like it, it's a large barn and we, we have, I think it's close to about 50 different motors in there to run different feed belts and, and water lines and all these fans, things. lots of fans, especially yeah. in the summer with the heat, the fans are running constantly. So it's, it's fantastic knowing that the, we don't have to pay BC Hydro anymore. <laughs> at some point, at some point, yeah. That's, I mean, uh, once we pay off the mortgage on the solar panels, that'll yeah. that'll be really a nice position to be in. Yeah. And we, we certainly encourage other people to look seriously at it. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it seems it, to make sense to yeah, us. Yeah, it, it starts paying itself off right away because you start paying, or well, you don't, you have to pay for a capital investment rather than the power that you're currently using so because we all yeah. know that you've got the recurring yeah. costs every month and if you can eventually bring that down mm -hmm. that's a win so we we, we want to look at that in many aspects of, of what we do in, yeah. with our farm don't we it, it, it's cool you can you look at them and you just go when the sun's shining you go great yeah. make power <laughs> you know yeah. now is the easy part yeah. just passively let it work yeah cami has install the app on her phone so she can tell you in, in real time what it's generating right now. I, I understand some questions around some other, you know, cutting edge technologies yeah. um, that could still be very viable, but it's, it's a no brainer when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. No brainer. Yeah. You just do it, uh, it'll pay itself off and you'll be a lot happier in 10 years when yeah. the price of all these other, you know, inputs continues to go up and, and you're, you're not having to pay, pay for them. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that works.
So I can open those doors and then you'll see like a thousand birds come out all at once. That, that would be, I mean, if, yeah. you guys, if you guys are, if it's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's, uh, you know, our we, we we named our first few. Uh, no, it's a little hard to do that now. We do, admittedly, we do like if, if it, there are not there are not many males in our flocks at all. Like we, we you know we, we focus on the females obviously for the eggs. Um, every so often a male will sneak through, and we we name them for sure. Yeah. Uh, we typically get like yeah. Yeah, but we 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 do uh, we like I said before we do. We do walk our barns at, at least twice a day, uh, us or our staff, and uh, you know keep an eye on how they're behaving with each other. And yeah. <laughs> no, um, we're James and Cammy Lockwood at Lockwood Farms. We've been in the Couch and Valley farming for about 11 years, and we do yep. a wide variety of vegetables. Uh, some perennial berries and fruits we're getting there, and we do a lot of chicken eggs from these lovely ladies behind us, and uh, some meats as well, some chicken and pork. Mm -hmm. And, we've and been plants as well, we do some nursery plants, plants as yeah. well. And, and we've been selling on cow ops since cow op first started. Uh, James's father was one of the founding board members, and yes. we've really appreciated being involved with, with cow op, right from its, its inception. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but um, uh, I, can't, I can't unless that's... Yeah, there's oh wait, I can pull that one. Yeah, it's just gonna impede on the other one. Do you wanna eat some? Turn it on, I can eat. Yeah. Really good radish leaves. Radish leaves. <laughs> Start selling radish leaves. Why not? Meander away, James. Me first? Oh, thank you. <laughs> 